Hello lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a dorm tour. This year, I feel like I could have done better with my dorm. I don't know, I was gonna add to it, but I really haven't got around to it, and it's been, what, almost three months since moving. We're in November now. So, I'm just like, let me just go ahead and give you guys a cute little tour, and if I update it, then I can always make an updated one. But this is what my dorm looks like right now. I also wanna just put a disclaimer in here that I'm only gonna show my side of the room. I'm not gonna show my roommate's side. So, if you're wondering what's on the other side of the room, yeah, I also do want to mention that I do live in like the upgraded living here at Towson So I do live in the capstone building and we have a bathroom attached to our dorm So I don't share it with anybody else besides my roommate So let's take you on from the very beginning. So when you walk in this is what you will see Okay, so when you first walk in you obviously have the door and pull and all that and like fire type of things and capstone and all that stuff to your left you will see my closet it. It's the one directly right next to the door. It's not the best organized as of right now but this is kind of what it looks like so on the top you kind of see that i have some like cleaning stuff laundry stuff and then obviously i have all of my winter stuff because it's starting to get really cold it's november now here in the corner you'll see i have like my plastic bags that i used to change out like the trash and things like that um cups extra utensils and then right here underneath all the cups and utensils i have all my like surplus of things which get like toilet paper and and paper towel and then just an empty bin and some of my purses are in that bin as well at the bottom here you'll see all of my shoes it's kind of a jumbled mess i need like a shoe rack but i'm yet to get one so that's what that looks like right now um my swiffer and my vacuum that i have so that's my closet you flip on over you will see the bathroom door i put a like standing mirror here as you can see me in it right now this is the bathroom so let me take you guys on a little tour of it. Basically, you walk in, you see the toilet, and I have some wipes on top of there. In the corner, I kind of have some cleaning supplies for the toilet. On the other side of that, we have a trash can, and we also have some toilet paper in the toilet paper roll. Um, we have my roommate's rack of towels, and I have my rack of my towel, and then a rag that I used to clean. I have a bath mat, then obviously the shower, and this shower curtain, I think it's probably from Target, which most things in my dorm is from Target. So this bath mat is from Bed Bath & Beyond, I, am, I think. Um, I definitely have a cart, of course, which I'm like really in love with. It's not like the best organized right now, just because um, there's just limited space in college and you'll know it. But I just have some cleaning supplies on the top that I have, like some shavers and hair clips and stuff for in the shower. And then down here I have some shaving cream and like extra lotions and brushes and shower caps and things like that. In the shower, the corner over there, I just have some body wash, face wash. Um, and then in this corner, I just have like some hair stuff. And I have a bath mat inside so that we don't I don't slip and bust my ass. <laughs> a loofah and obviously my tea tree scrub, which I really, really love. So yeah, that's really just the bathroom in itself. Coming back out into the main area, this is the sink. So the sink is not attached to the bathroom. So I really like that. And it has this big, beautiful mirror here. I'll just show you guys my side really quickly. Have a sponge, soap, cup to rinse the sink, cotton rounds, a little dish for my nail stuff, mouthwash, and then a bowl quickly inside my drawer this is really messy but basically i just have a bunch of hair ties and hair bands my toothbrush toothpaste deodorant and hairbrush in there underneath the sink on my side i just have a bunch of hair stuff a bunch of literally probably anything you can think of cleaning supplies more sponges deodorant wipes anything you really think of is underneath there that's not in my closet Next over here we have the trash can. So I think I just got that from Walmart, but it's a really big, decent size. I would recommend getting a bigger size if you're going to college, just so you don't take up the trash all the time. So that's that. If we flip over on this side, you can definitely see like my vines that I have hung up, which we'll get to when I get over to my bedside. That is falling off the wall. So don't mind my light. I need to fix that. I just can't fix it right now. I need help from a taller human being. Here is our micro fridge where we have a microwave and a 
mini fridge that me and my roommate share that comes with the dorm, which is really nice. On top of it, I just have a paper towel, a mug that I'm yet to use. I currently have this juice that's just sitting there, but obviously I was drinking it. Tea and then some hand sanitizer mini fridge that has like a freezer attached to it. I don't use that though, so won't show you guys what's in there. Um, in the corner here, I literally have all of my little cleaning supplies that are like the ones I kind of go to the most, so I have those right there. Don't mind my laundry bin. It really needs to get done. Um, that's another day's vlog coming. Um, next, we have a little air freshener in my backpack that I keep. And next to that, I have this really cute cubicle that I got from Target that I really, really love. So on top of the cubicle, we have this calendar, which needs to be changed to November, but I have yet to do that. I normally keep my keys either on here or on my desk, and I just have some Q-tips, some vitamins, some cleaners for my glasses, an extra cup, and then some sandwich bags, and then I have my three cubicles, as you can see. In the first cubicle, I just have some snacks, which need to be restocked, so don't mind that. In this one, I just have like a bunch of like extra bowls and things like you've already seen some ginger candy like some medicine type of things a Brita that I'm yet to like put together and use I need to do that and then at the bottom I just have, just have some like extra things some gloves my fan different little things like that in there that's this cubicle moving on to my desk which I love so 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 much First, on top, we have this cup that I barely use anymore, but I should use it. I have this little tray that I got from Target that's shaped in a pumpkin, and I think it's super cute. And I just keep my moisturizer. Um, this is alcohol for wiping down for my nails. Um, cuticle oil, perfume, aquaphor for when I got my tattoos, some lotion, and then there's like some earrings for my piercings in there. Then I have this really cute mirror, obviously my cute little octopus that I love so much. This mirror is from Amazon, so you just turn on like that and it definitely has a bunch of different modes and different like lighting dimness and things like that so you just tap on it and there's different modes but I keep it on this one the most I have my cup of makeup brushes right here um, and then I have this little tray thing cup holder with a bunch of pencils and scissors and pens things like that this little alarm clock that literally doesn't even work there for aesthetic I have this lamp that's also from Target and it's really cute really bright really nice for like when you need to study at night have that there it's like a charging block type of thing but I only use it for my Apple watch as you can see and there's a bunch of cords and stuff because I have this extension cord right next to it so it's not gonna stay I have my watch airpods that's how I charge it and I have another extension cord behind my bed on the side that I use to charge as well and then I have my speaker then obviously my computer and my tablet. So in the drawers, cause there's just a lot in here, I'm just gonna do a quick little overview for you guys. Basically I just have my makeup, which I have a lot. And then this is just like a miscellaneous junk drawer with a bunch of different things in here that I use need on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's really it for those drawers. I'm not gonna go in depth. Underneath here, I just have like a bunch of extra Ziploc bags and packages and like things that like I don't really need right now. And then my nail box is underneath there, an extra bath vat that was way too long. So I just have it there. That's like a regular bag that I use. I'm just like going out on the weekend. I don't want to my backpack. And then that is just random stuff that I have here. So now, now for my favorite part of my room, which is definitely my bed. It is just so cute. And I feel like I put a lot of effort into it. So first up here on the ceiling, I have these vines that were also in my room at home. So I just brought a couple of them back and put them up and then have like a string light that goes on. That it's not really that bright. Like you could tell on camera, but it's really not that bright. Um, at night so I don't really put it on but it's just there for aesthetic. That A on the wall is from Home Goods, I think. Or TJ Maxx, I can't really remember. Check my dorm hall, that's where everything is from. You can go and shop there if you really want any of these things. Bedding and everything is from Target. All of the stuff in my bed is from Target, including the pillows and everything. And I have a mattress pad underneath as well. So I really liked it. I wanted to do like a very like simple minimalistic type of theme but also bring in pops of color so that pop of color was some orange and I really like it. I think it very sophisticated but so cute and then like I said I do have an extension cord right here inside of my bed that I can use to charge my iPad and my phone at night so yeah and that grandfather pillow is so nice to be sitting up and doing work I feel like underneath my bed is probably the most messiest but I basically just have all my extra bins and one of them has some like ramen and stuff in it that it's gonna turn into a snack bin at some point but I need to buy more snacks some foil paper that I had 
when I was dyeing my hair, things like that. And then like obviously the duffel bag when I go home. And just extra little things. It's not the best organized. It's underneath my bed so I never like to look at it and that's just extra clothes. In this drawer right here, I just kind of have some socks, some underwear, and then some like basic shirts and stuff that I probably couldn't fit in the other drawers or in my closet. This bottom drawer is just a bunch of like t-shirts and leggings and just basics and black clothing in general. Bottom drawer over here is just a bunch of hoodies and sweatshirts and things like that. And then this drawer is just my jean drawer which has all of my jeans that I own currently. This ottoman that I have right here is from Amazon. I used to get on my bed because my bed is absolutely pretty high up. I didn't really notice it but really difficult to get up there even though I'm pretty tall so I love this ottoman so much. Use it every single day. Definitely a must if you have a really tall raised bed. That's a good option. And then this rug is from Amazon and when I tell you it is the softest thing I'm just so happy that I actually got a rug I would definitely recommend it and it's this really cute cream color so it really just ties everything in I do have a rug at the bottom of the sink as well that was from Walmart so it is just gray and it's very nice but basically that's really just like kind of the overview of my room as a whole Well, that's really it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, like I didn't show my roommate's side and it's obviously a very small space when you really do think about it. There's not really that much to show, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and kind of got a glimpse of what I'm living in and what it's like to kind of decorate a dorm room and a dorm room, what it kind of would look like. Especially if you go here at Towson. Yeah, if you want to come here next year and you want to know what the capstone living looks like, this is what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys very soon. Until the next video, bye!